not been a really productive day so far, but um, yeah, I think it has to do with the weather and um, festive vibes. Mama is destroying some um, <laughs> plastic wrap. Hey, Mama. Hi. <laughs> um, anyway, so I'm just trying to keep myself motivated because, you know, there are sparkly lights and festive decorations everywhere and I think that is just making me not being in the mood to work. Um, yeah, so, and one of the things, so you've seen me working on my um, week planner yesterday, so that was one of the things uh, that I do. Uh, and then I have my journal um, where I write deadlines in and have a more like a yearly planner because of course the week planner is only for one week so so I use that too and then I have another little notebook my Pusheen notebook which was a um, uh, a gift from my brother last year and and his gift from this year, my little Harry Potter bookmark, is... Can you even see that? There you go. So I'm keeping uh, my Harry Potter bookmark in here. So, okay. <laughs> so I'm using this notebook as a kind of brain dump. Uh, the uh, coach that I'm working with, who is Ray Dodd, she is wonderful. If you have a business and if you want to grow your business, she's she's the one you need. Um, anyway, so, so she's a big fan of uh, journaling, writing things down, writing gratitudes, wearing, uh, writing down affirmations. Um, if you're into coaching, you'll know these uh, terms. Um, and the idea of a journal is that you can get things out of your mind onto paper so you really, you can really see it. And sometimes if your head is really full, um, uh, for example, oh, I have to do all of these things. And then you write them down and it's only like three things. Ever have one of those moments? So it's it, sometimes it can be really um, reassuring to write things down or maybe just like a weight lifting off your shoulders. Um, and sometimes uh, you just need a brain dump like, oh, I don't, I don't feel so, I don't feel so good, so uh, let, let's write it, write it out. Okay, why am I not feeling so good? Is it because I had a bad dream? Is it because uh, the year is ending and I feel all kinds of anxiety about the year ending and, you know, uh, the need for an accomplishment at the end of the year? I'm just... This is just fictional things, but um, and I, I find it really, really helpful to um, to write all of that down. So yeah, so um, by writing down. So <laughs> yesterday, I thought I had a really bad day. Yep, and then I decided. Well, let let's actually dive into that. So I, I wrote down all of the bad things that have happened. <laughs> and it's like, it's not even bad. So uh, so for my Vlogmas Day uh, 8 video, I think, for my Vlogmas Day 8 video, uh, there was uh, a short, you know, a couple of seconds where I didn't have any overlay music. So you could hear the actual music from the background. Uh, which was, of course, copyrighted music. And, um, you know, because for, for videos like these, uh, there are copyright-free music that you can just use and still monetize the video. Um, uh, and so I immediately got an uh, email from YouTube. Um, but, um, you know, I, I, Momo, Momo is... 
I'll have to play with her. <laughs> Momo, behave. Um, and I did not have to take down the video. I didn't have to delete it. Uh, it just meant that they might show some advertisements on it, uh, which I usually do for my videos. I usually put advertisements on it. But for that video, the um, the profits of that uh, of those advertisements would go to the copyright owner and I'm fine with that you know I, I wasn't gonna cut out the segment or or uh, place another song over it anyway so uh, so <laughs> and another kind of like bad thing like oh my package would which I thought that would arrive today did not arrive today you know <laughs> uh, things like that so uh, so sometimes you'll think you're having a bad day or you think that you know you ha you have a lot to do but then when you write it down you're like huh okay well I can handle that so so I find it really really helpful to have a little journal uh, so I thought I'd uh, share that with you um, I am going to go to the supermarket. Well, first I'm going to go to the um, farmhouse, farmhouse, farm shop, which I talked about yesterday, uh, to get some uh, fruits and veggies. And I, actually, they also have eggs there, so I forgot to mention that. Um, they have all kinds of stuff there, actually, just not meats and bread. Anyway, um, so I'm going to do that, then I'm going to posts some gifts in the mail, including the giveaway uh, prize uh, from last week. So I'm um, looking forward to that. And I hope, uh, I'm hoping to get one of those um, nail files, but like they're like a block so you can file actually the top of your nails because mm, yeah, sometimes when I apply one coat of nail polish and then there's some stuff in it I don't know I don't know why so then the second layer does not go on smoothly so I want to like smooth it down and then do another layer this is not interesting okay um, <laughs> I'll just uh, go do that and um, I hope I can get myself motivated to do some actual work today <sighs> yeah but you know we all have these days so it's fine. It's completely fine. Completely fine. Yeah, I just have to, you know, sometimes I have to journal a bit more than on other days. Anyway, I hope you have a really great day, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye! Well, this is exciting. So, I just got back from the supermarket, and I found... A little note in my letterbox saying that I had missed a delivery <laughs> and I was sad uh, because you know I only went out for like I don't know not even an hour but he came back um, yeah I've <laughs> I don't know I've seen this same delivery guy a couple of times over the past weeks and I guess he knows that I'm home a lot so he came back and I'm really happy he did and I don't want to show you my address, but Ooh, I'm <laughs> I know what this is just from that drawing. So this is from my friend Anna, who is the maker behind Girl and Bird. She makes gorgeous bags. And, um, oh, there's more stuff on the back. So bags, cushions, ornaments, um, and she uses maps for that, which is really, really cute. See, there's her logo, Girl and Bird. And, yeah, Momo, isn't this exciting? Momo, Momo. <laughs> Meets in the bone. All right, so I ordered, I ordered a project bag. Oh my God. This is so cute. So I ordered a little project bag. Oh, 
with um, with a map and since she specializes in uh, UK maps so um, I didn't know if she would have a Dutch map or a map of the Netherlands so I just asked for a Europe map and yeah Momo yeah <laughs> she wants attention Oh, and it's so beautiful. So, um, so there's a pocket here, and I'll probably show you better tomorrow. Uh, so, a drawstring pouch. It's lined with yellow canvas. So, so beautiful. There it is. So, I've chosen the medium size, and this will fit. Momo, F is still, okay? And this will fit, I don't know, one skein, two skein project? Yeah, I think a half project or a sock project. That will fit quite nicely. And um, so at first, the personalization options kind of freak me out because you can choose everything. So you can choose uh, whether you want a pocket or not, whether uh, you want... Um, and then you can choose the fabric for the inside, for the pocket, and uh, and for this inside. And if you want it lined or not. But I chose to have it lined. And it did only have an option to have it lined in cream. But I saw a, a picture um, on her Facebook, I think, uh, that she had one lined with mustard. So I just put in cheeky little... Um, <laughs> question if I could please have it in mustard um, so I, I click the cream option and then I put in a special note uh, asking for mustard and it worked <laughs> thank you Anna and yeah so you can choose whether you want the map to be here or there or you can choose like not a map but where's the fun in that so and uh, she has canvas which is this which is really nice. And she also has a velvet, uh, which also would be very nice. But uh, I decided to go with the canvas option first. Uh, and this is teal canvas. Yeah. Um, oh, and you can also, I'm just seeing the, um, the package note. So you can also choose a different um, fabric for the back, but I, choose, I chose to have it the same as the pocket fabric so lots of options so it kind of freaked me out at first but um, I kind of went from a picture that she had on her Facebook and um, I just tried to copy that one sort of with my map <laughs> but I'm so happy with it it's so so cute thank you Anna <laughs>